Just went over um, some 33rd team mock draft, and like I said, tons of mock drafts coming. This is this is an exciting time. I, I love mock draft season just because of the endless possibilities, and because Brad Holmes is going to do what Brad Holmes does. He's drafting on a completely different board than any of us know. I love that we haven't talked about it until mid-February. Isn't that awesome? It's crazy because we're feasting on these boards come November, latest December, but now we're not talking about it until February. I have so much faith in this regime. They're not going to stand pat. They're going to be making moves. It's, I mean, the things that we've always asked for as Lions fans in the past, we've been getting these off seasons, you know, moves and, and repositioning added picks. I, I just, I, I can't wait, but I know they're going to make moves. I know they want to get back. And weren't you telling me that he made a bold proclamation, Dan Campbell, about winning next year, being back in the Super Bowl? Uh, he, he spoke out of both sides of his mouth, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, he did. Because well, right, after, he was right after the game, he was like, it's, it's going to be hard to get it's back old. here. It's going to be hard <laughs> to get back here. Then it's like, we're going to the Super Bowl or nothing else. And, of course, you got to reset with that mentality every single year. But uh, to, for him to vocalize it, I think, sets a different standard inside the clubhouse. I want to bring something up to you guys that we Sean and I talked about yesterday. And I think you were out of the room at that time. What if Dan Campbell was right? And what I mean by that is, compare the Buffalo Bills of late, mm -hmm. the uh, yeah. Josh Allen Buffalo Bills mm -hmm. that haven't gotten to the big dance and as good as they've been the last six years. Uh, the Lions are right there right now. They are in Buffalo Bills talk. They are in uh, playoff teams talk. They're, that's where they are. What if they don't? take it off the sheet and get to the big game what if they fall short again like the buffalo bills fans have to go through what they had to go through three years ago at that overtime loss to kansas city when they didn't see the ball uh after the coin toss which of course changed the rule you don't like it after stop that it. man I'm, the irony of this is i'm just I, saying man i just watched the 30 for 30 for them losing four straight yeah, the just, four just falls just a, like a few buffalo. days ago that's different that's a different bill but that's i'm talking that's about still the bills, bills though Yes. That's the Bills, Bills. That's their whole legacy. And and that is what I have worried, and we talked about all the season long. There's only one thing that truly changes this franchise forever, and that's getting to a Super Bowl and winning one. You know? So I think these guys, don't think these guys are going to stand pat. These guys are going to be just as wild and, and free-willed when making moves this offseason as they ever have been. In fact, there's more of a need now, I think, for them to make those types of moves to make sure they get over this hump that this franchise never has even gotten close to. Listen, when I was watching that game, they were up 17 going into the second half, mm. and they pissed it away. Those were the thoughts that were going through my head. It's so hard yeah. to get back to where so many things have to go they right. they got to start over. Injuries have to yeah. not plague your team. The coaching decisions have to be right on spot. And you see it even with the San Francisco 49ers. People, oh, the 49ers are a juggernaut. They're a juggernaut until they're not. Right. Yeah. And that's that's what's. They can't win either. 30, they, 20, they can't 30 win. Years. They can't win a damn thing as much years. as Lindsey Hunter wants to tell me they're right. a great franchise. They haven't won a Super Bowl in 30 years. Them and the Cowboys, they, they haven't done a a damn thing oh. in 30 years. Aikman, Young, Montana. And think about that for how proud those guys are and what they think of their franchises. But that's what's cool yeah. is like there's only one winner. That there's 31 teams disappointed every year. Yeah. And it doesn't always go your way. And that's that's what pissed me off more about that loss than anything. Not that they lost. No. It was that the opportunity was right here right there in your grass if 17 points yeah. you were up in the second half and that opportunity just went away yeah. you're never going to get this opportunity again Correct. and even if you run it back it's not going to be the same thing it's like no. we saw tracy walker's already gone yeah you know like there'll be other guys gone. there'll be other guys gone it's not going to be the same squad it's not going to be the same um like camaraderie in the locker yeah. room you think they're going to keep building that with players they add but they could add one bad apple that spoils the whole thing. So yeah, yeah, I'm with you, man. That that's it's scary. That terrifies the hell out of me. Yeah. But I also got to realize now we're having the conversation 
about the Lions not being good enough in the Super Bowl or in the NFC Championship game. Well, that's the deal. We're not talking about the Lions not being good enough to make the playoffs or win their division. So we're we're over that success hump, the playoff and divisional. Yes. But we're not over the complete success. And winning a Super Bowl is hard, and it's never, ever, ever, ever guaranteed. Teams will get better. Teams will get worse. You don't know what's going to happen year to year. And you're forgotten. Yeah. We here in Detroit will never forget. Yeah. But other people are going to say, wow. Who did the Chiefs beat to get in the Super Bowl? Who right. did the Niners beat to get in the Super Bowl? Who did Stafford win to win you know the Super Bowl? It, it don't Bowl? matter. It does Anybody? not would, matter. Would you rather have been a Bills fan for the last 40 years and see four Super Bowls and a whole bunch of AFC yeah, that's finals? Or would you have rather been a Lions fan for the last 40 years? Because what the Lions Bills. have done now is put themselves into that window we talked about all year long of success. We should see sustained success over the next three to five years at least. Maybe this regime is really good and we'll see 15, 20 years of it. But again, only one team wins. But I would much rather have a team that's in the conversation every single year Mm -hmm. that we're not talking about the draft until February. And that is brand new for us as Lions fans. All I've ever wanted was to be in the fight. Because if you're in the fight, you got a chance to knock someone out. now you want more. Of course you want more. But now you're not happy with that. I, You're not. I'm not. I was disappointed with how the season ended, but yeah. I wasn't disappointed with the season in general. And but this but is I, but this I'm, was a one-off. If it's listen, a recurring a thing, I'm then, mortally yeah. wounded to tell you the truth. From I what am, happened, I'm 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 mortally. I didn't wounded. watch the Super Bowl, Maz. I can't even remember last yeah. time I didn't watch the Super Bowl. I couldn't bring myself I, to I, watch it. Anson, I watched it, but I I watched it like walking around the house and yeah. you know. Going to get a snack it, here. I, I changed it to Nickelodeon to watch that broadcast. Glued, aren't you? It was, I didn't care. It was yeah. such a weird vibe. I just said the square. Anson will tell you for the playoff game, Cicerelli's, yeah. absolutely insane. Lock. Insanity. People, like every seat filled, people shoulder going nuts for it. Like, a lion score. We're playing the fight song, putting off sirens. It's like it's a crazy time. The Super Bowl was one of the most lethargic Super Bowls I've ever been. We had every seat filled in the bar. Every seat was filled in the bar. But when a touchdown was scored, nobody gave a damn. Yeah. When an interception was made, fumble made, nobody really. It was like it was a normal Sunday game on That's Super Bowl Sunday. Who, who That's are you guys what it cheering was. for? It was a 1 p.m. Yeah. Sunday game this year. Who are you year. guys cheering for and did it change during the game? Um, I... Because of Lindsey Hunter, I started rooting very badly against San Francisco. Oh, really? <laughs> like, I didn't really care, but I I wanted San Francisco to lose so badly. Yeah. A, because I don't think they earned their spot to be Agreed. there. They got lucky against the Lions, did what they did, and I'll give credit for winning. I don't think Brock Purdy's that good of a quarterback. I don't think Kyle Shanahan is the end-all, be-all of stop coaches. You know, stop with, you with which one? He's a Purdy I'm going to stop you with both. Okay. Uh, the first one I'm going to stop you with, who, who we who, who, I rooted for the Chiefs, but I lukewarmly rooted for the Chiefs. When Brock Purdy had the ball, I wanted him to go down and score a touchdown. Yeah, but he I can't. Did. He's not that dude. He is that dude. He's he, not that he dude. He can go down if and score a If he was that dude, goal. he would have done it, right? <laughs> He, he is if that dude. He is a very not good a enough kid, to win a man. Super Bowl. He's a kid. Yeah. Did, did you see the like last seventeen who started their first Super Bowl never yeah. made it back? I know. Jared Goff included. I, I know. Okay. I so know for, all of that. For, I'm just saying, Brock Purdy is he has it. He is going to be a very he successful has, quarterback. Jimmy Garoppolo got them just as far, man. Yeah, he did. Personally, so, yeah, did. I, I like, was rooting for the Chiefs lukewarmly, and I kind of have the Luke score Longley, on my. You said? Uh, Luke yeah. Longley, Luke Longley, the Australian <laughs> snail. Warm, you said lukewarm a little bit earlier, but I'm watching the score just off to the side, and I noticed they went to overtime. I saw that San Francisco put up three points, so I tuned in, and I'm like, "All right, let, let's go, KC." By the end of that drive, when I had seen Taylor Swift seven times in one drive, oh, who cares? I was, I was, come on, San Francisco, stop them! But man, I had no interest in that game. I had no rooting interest in either team. I wanted both teams to lose. I wanted them to somehow tie or lose, and everyone realized the Lions should have been there. 
I think everybody did. I mean, you saw how many tweets in that first half. Like, eh, at least if the Lions were here, right. it would have been an Antonio interesting game. Antonio Brown said, "Yeah, I got a feeling the Lions be up uh, thirty to six about this point." The Lions were trending. Antonio Brown. That was the first time I've ever agreed with him, and it proves <laughs> that he doesn't have dementia. He doesn't. He's just an idiot.